What's going on guys? You guys have tuned in to Best Price Nutrition. Be sure to head over to our website, bestpricenutrition.com. We have a 14,000 square foot warehouse back here. Uh, we have all of your favorite brands and we're constantly working to bring in new brands, new products, new flavors being rolled out by your favorite brands. And uh, in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at Alpha Lion, a brand we brought in uh, probably within the last year or two. Uh, they have a lot of great pre-workouts. They have a great, uh, I really like their pump supplement. Uh, yeah, Superhuman Pump. Superhuman Pump. Used to be Komodo Pump. And uh, yeah, today we're going to be taking a look at Superhuman Test. Uh, this looks like a pretty interesting formula. We got, uh, this one actually reminds me a lot of Purist Labs uh, test booster from a couple years ago. I oh. think it's been discontinued, but it was a great test booster. It had a lot of common ingredients with, with this one. It had... Uh, uh, the dim, mm -hmm. the shilajit, which is yeah. uh, an ingredient I'm a big fan of. We got Tonkat Ali, fenugreek, the popular ingredient in test boosters, and then uh, boron, which boron is kind of critical to absorption of a lot of different things, right? Yeah, boron is, is like kind of un not unknown, but it's not that popular as far as all the effects that it has for testosterone. It's really, really good for testosterone. Um, so yeah, I'll just go down the list here. So we've got zinc. Uh, and this is like a Trax version. When you see Trax, T-R-A-C-S, that's a trademark version of chelated minerals. Chelated means it's a mineral bound to an amino acid as opposed to like oxide or citric acid or malic acid. If a mineral is bound to an amino acid, you absorb it so much better. So you're gonna get 30 milligrams of zinc um, by glycinate chelates. So you're gonna absorb a ton of it. You're gonna get way more out of it. Um, zinc is huge for testosterone. D3 is huge for testosterone. There's large studies that show like direct correlations between low zinc, low vitamin D3, low magnesium, and low levels of testosterone. It's a pretty hefty dose of vitamin D in there too. Yeah, you get more than 3,000 IUs. Normally when you see it, it's like 400 or something weak like that. This is like a full, pretty pretty good dose of uh, vitamin D3, it's a good point. Um, and then you get Testo Surge, which is a trademark inversion of fenugreek extract, and it's fermented, double fermented. A lot of times when you uh, ferment any of these herbs, it highly increases the absorption, the effects. Sometimes you get whole new effects when things are fermented. Um, I don't think fenugreek directly does increase your testosterone, but I think it does give you the effects of increased testosterone. Like I think it increases your libido, might help with some recovery type stuff, but I don't think your actual number goes up. If you want your actual number to go up, that's the next ingredient, which is Tonkat Ali, 300 milligrams. Um, we've talked about this recently. There was someone on Joe Rogan talking about this, made it very, very popular. Um, he said around 400 milligrams a day can increase your levels by 100 to 300 points, which is very significant. It's nothing to put your nose up at. It's really, really a strong ingredient. And you know, we've just added a, a new collection to the website uh, that's full of all of our products that, that yeah. contain Tong, Tongkat Ali. So whether you're looking for a straight Tongkat Ali, like the Testo Jack 300, mm -hmm. or a blend like this, uh, I'll link to that and you guys can find all our products that contain, tong, contain Tongkat Ali. Yeah, definitely. Um, and then we have the Prima V, which is the Shilajit Fulic, Fulvic Acid Extract. Um, I don't know exactly the mechanisms of how this works, but this is one of the ingredients you don't see that often, but anytime you read about it, you're kind of curious as to why it's not in more stuff. You know, I've been meaning to do some more, it's an interesting ingredient. I think it comes from... Like volcanic ash. Like it the, grows, the, stuff that grows It's like volcanoes. everything that, all the sludge that's been like fermenting in the mountains yeah. and, uh, where's Mount Everest? And, um... Nepal? Yeah, yeah. I'm sure it comes from other areas, but it's like all that sludge yeah. and organic material that's been fermenting for thousands of years. Yeah, it's really, really, like, it's it's one of the things you really only can get in one spot, which is pretty rare and pretty cool. Um, and there's DIM. DIM is something that helps you metabolize the bad estrogens out of your body. So it's kind of something that you're going to want with a test booster because as your testosterone goes up, so does your estrogen. This is going to help your body metabolize estrogen a little bit more. Um, also, I do believe DIM can bind to SHGB, which is sex hormone binding globulin. And what SHGB does is it attaches to your testo to your free testosterone and basically makes it inactive. So if DIM binds to SHGB, it then inactivates that, giving you by default more free testosterone. So it's kind of like a good double whammy type deal there. Um, and then we have Shodan ashwagandha which is a trademark version, which I've never heard of before, but it standardizes down to 35% with anilides, which are like the main components of uh, ashwagandha. So it's only 120 milligrams, which isn't really anything to write home about, but maybe this trademark version, you need less of it. That I don't know. 
Um, and then boron is boron citrate, 10 milligrams. Like we said, it's a very vital for a lot of processes in your body, specifically testosterone. I think that's something that increases your free testosterone too. So you get a lot of different pathways to increase free testosterone, total testosterone, lower cortisol with the ashwagandha. It's just a really good all-around test booster. You know, I think would make a good topic for a future video. So I'm not familiar with this uh, shodan either. I've never heard of that. Before. But it seems like ashwagandha is really gaining traction. Yeah. Uh, a lot of people talking about it. A lot of people interested in it. So maybe we should do a video going through. Well, like KSM 66, sensoril, sensoril versus yeah. uh, shodan, shodan, or yeah, that's a good others. idea. We should definitely do that because I, this, this is the first thing I've ever seen that in. Yeah, I'm not familiar with that one. Yeah, but yeah. Alpha Lion, we've had them in for a couple of years. The products sell very well, especially in our brick and mortars. Superhuman Test, I do believe it's somewhat new. Um, so if you're interested, you should definitely pick it up. Um, it's on our sites right now. And maybe we could do like a 15% off code on this one. What, uh, what should we call it? Let's do Alpha 15. Alpha 15? Yeah, let's do Alpha 15. We'll do 15% off. Um, we're gonna limit it to the first 10 people? Yeah, yeah, let's do that. So the code Alpha 15. Um, be one of the first people to get it, get 15% off, try it, and if you get it and you try it, leave a comment below and let us know what you think once you run through the whole thing. And then also with test boosters, um, I've had customers call in before and they're, they get upset that they've taken it for two days and don't feel anything. It's, it's not instant like that. You gotta give it a full two, three weeks. In reality, you wanna give it the full bottle of the cycle to try it out, because a lot of these things take two, three weeks to kick in. And just when something kicks in doesn't mean it's full blast. It means that's when you're gonna start noticing effects you want to finish the whole bottle of something before you can give it like a real review. And you, you know what, a, kind of an interesting point with that too, it's kind, of, kind of in the same vein as, as people who buy a test booster and think, or I'm sorry, a, a fat burner and think that they can keep eating Twinkies and sitting on a yeah. couch. Like, do what you can to give yourself the best chance for this to work. Eat clean, yes. get plenty of sleep, do a lot of heavy lifting with your legs. Yes. Those things are all gonna boost your testosterone and then we'll, with supplementing product on top of that, you're gonna give yourself the, the best chance of that working to its yeah. full effect. That's a really, really good point. I've never even like had that discussion with someone before. It's a good analogy. You do wanna meet it all halfway with everything that John said. Um, and with that being said, when he said with diet, you do wanna have some fat intake in your diet when you're trying to do anything hormonally because cholesterol is the base hormone for all of the male and female hormones. Cholesterol turns into everything else. Cholesterol is a steroid um, as far as like a four carbon ring. So don't try to go super low fat and then expect to have much differences with your body's hormones. You wanna get some saturated fat in because it does help with hormone regulation. Just a little side note, something to keep in mind. Um, but yeah, let us know what you guys think about this if you try it out. And again, Alpha 15, first 10 people say 15% off. All right, thanks guys. Later guys.